Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. I'd like to welcome you to Saturday, the 30th of September, 2023, the very last day of the month of September. God has been so gracious. And as we come to the end of the first three quarters of the year 2023, I believe that God is going to grant you your heart's desires. The, the tomorrow's, um, yeah, tomorrow's Sunday's service is a compulsory service. You can't afford to miss it. With what God has done in the Worship and Wonders Night, you can't afford to miss the uh, Sunday service. Praise the Lord. We're looking at the topic today, living to help others. The Bible says, for David, after he had served his own generation by the will of God, fell on sleep and was laid unto his fathers and saw corruption. Acts 13, 36, thought for the day. One way to make the most of life is to eliminate the frustrations and confrontations of others. Life becomes more exciting and fulfilling when one is able to positively impact the lives of others. A major way to make the most of life is to eliminate the frustrations and the confrontations of others. You make the most of life if you live to fight the battles of others. The battles may not be yours, but you take it upon yourself to fight for the sake of others. One day a woman came to see us and said her son in second year in the university studying medicine uh, had not been able to, you know, he was stranded because his father could not sponsor him because the father was an irresponsible man, was a drunkard. Now, he, she said her son was about to drop out of school. And having studied medicine, God's servant knew what it takes to gain admission to study medicine. The question that he asked was, is it necessary for this one who has already gained admission to drop out? No way. So he told the woman that we would take care of her son's school fees till his graduation. And we started paying his school fees from the second year until he graduated and became a doctor. Therefore, the young doctor came to see us again after he had graduated and said, Sir, I just came to thank you for helping me to fulfill my vision of becoming a medical doctor. Thank you for not allowing my dream to be aborted. And God's servant said to him, I looked at him and said to him, Don't thank me. All I want you to do is to go and pick someone in a similar situation and lift him up and tell that person to do the same to another person and let the chain continue. Beloved, this is how to live. I release upon you today the grace to go and do likewise in Jesus' name. Remember this, that one way to make the most of life is to eliminate the frustrations and the confrontations of others. What's our assignment today? Number one, make up your mind to fight the battles of others. Number two, lend a helping hand to those in need. Lift them up and God shall lift you up also. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I receive the grace to be concerned about the welfare of others. Help me to help others. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name, praise the Lord. I'm excited. I believe that God has heard this prayer and the Lord has answered in the name of Jesus. We're going to go right ahead and we're going to pray for somebody who wants to make Jesus the Lord of his or her life. This is the starting point of helping yourself and helping your generation. So pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you today, wishing you a very happy birthday. As your days are, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Our Bible reading today is Haggai 2 all the way to Zechariah chapter 2. M make sure you're up to date and the Lord bless you. Have a wonderful day.